Understanding how climate change risks play out in the global economy is a complex business. Our global economic model, E3ME, maps the scale and distribution of climate-related risks across sectors and countries under different global temperature pathways and policy scenarios. Under the Paris Climate Accord, governments pledge to keep the planet on a below 2 degrees trajectory. A mix of policies, including carbon and energy taxes, renewable subsidies and energy efficiency regulations, will be needed to get us onto that trajectory. We represent these policies in our global E3ME model and then use it to simulate how the economy would develop in that kind of future. Take the example of a carbon tax. A carbon tax increases the cost of carbon intensive fuels and incentivizes the take up of low carbon alternatives. The switch to cleaner fuels would reduce emissions and limit the scale of temperature rise, limiting the physical and economic damages associated with climate change. The tax would also affect the economy by increasing industry's cost of production, and some of these costs would be passed on to the consumer in higher prices. But the economy-wide effects need not be negative. Our recent work for the World Resources Institute shows that if carbon tax revenues are reinvested back into the economy, then global net economic benefits to the tune of $26 trillion could be realised. 